Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison. I make lifestyle videos, fashion content, and vlogs. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a fashion video. I'm really excited. It is my jeans collection. So I wanted to make this video because I know jeans are a really hard thing to buy, especially online. I feel like every pair of jeans are different. I would say my jean sizes range from a US 4 to 6 and then a European 36 to 38. I usually like buying jeans in person because online can be just so risky. So I'll just share with you guys some basic info about my body. So I have a more athletic build so I tend to have thicker legs but I'm short. I'm like around 5'3 I would say but then my waist is really small so I always find it hard to find a pair of jeans that is tight enough in the waist but also is loose enough on the leg. All these jeans I'm about to show you are affordable. They're under $50 and they are from a variety of places, mostly Zara, Urban Outfitters, and vintage stores. Also, all of these jeans are more of a mom fit boyfriend style jean. I'm not into skinny jeans. I feel like we kind of left that behind in 2020 and I'm so happy for that. So all of these are going to be a looser Fit. I hope this video is helpful for you guys and gives you some ideas on where you can get some good fitting affordable jeans So let's just get into the video. These are one of my favorite pairs. They are from Zara So you guys I don't want this video to be repetitive a lot of my jeans are from Zara and there's a good reason for that Zara has the best fitting jeans in my opinion Especially if you're on the shorter side because they do have so many cropped styles these are not cropped, they are flare jeans and then they kind of have that distressed hem at the end which I really like. It's form fitting in the waist but then they really cup your butt and then flare out at the leg which I think is so flattering. I don't know if you can tell on camera but they're not completely black, they are more of a charcoal gray which I really like and I didn't have any jeans like this in my collection so when I saw these I was obsessed with them. They are a size 6 European 38 and they button, they just have one solo button and then they just zip. The next pair of jeans is from Urban Outfitters and they're also a dark charcoal gray. However, they're different because they are distressed all the way down. So I think it's good to have at least one pair of good ripped jeans in your collection. I feel like these are the only ripped jeans I wear because I, I don't like overdoing the ripped look, but I think having one stable pair is really nice. I'm not really like a girly person. I don't have a very girly style. So I love the charcoal with the rips and I think it just gives it that edgy vibe. They are the brand BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. And I find that these jeans are the best fitting on me. They are a slim straight fit and I got them in a size 27. These are the type of jeans that don't have a zipper and have the buttons all the way down. But honestly, I like really like that for these. They fit, I feel like they almost fit better with the buttons cause they're more forgiving when you go to put them on. I did get these I think over a year ago so the rips are definitely really worn out at this point. I spent a lot of time collecting my collection and wearing them in and really getting that good fit out of them. Now going more into blue jeans. This pair is from Zara. I love this wash. I think this is just like the most typical blue wash denim. These are in a US 6 and a European 38 tight in the waist, mom jean fit that flares out at the ends. They are cropped as well. So again, that's just such a good fit for my tiny little legs. This next pair of jeans, again, from Zara, are very similar to these previous ones, but also very different all at the same time. So again, they are a nice blue wash, but they are a little lighter than the first pair. They are definitely the same kind of fit where they're tight in the waist and then are a good mom fit and just flare out at the end. However, these have the distressed hem, which I really like, whereas the other ones didn't. But they are that same just like cropped fit. And I don't know, Zara just like kills it with that cropped mom vibe. Another difference about these ones is that Instead of the zipper, they have the buttons that go all the way up, which again, I like both styles. I don't really have a preference. I think they both fit pretty well. The one thing I'm kind of hesitant about these is I got these in a USA European 40, and I've just come to learn that that's not my size. That fits me a little too big in the waist, but I think it is still good to have a pair of jeans that are a little forgiving in the waist, just in case, I don't know, you're bloated one day. Similar 
but these are a little bit lighter. My last pair of blue jeans are these beautiful Levi's. Um, I'm obsessed with Levi's. I feel like they are such good quality, especially if you buy vintage ones. Don't sleep on going into thrift stores and going into vintage stores and buying secondhand jeans. I feel like this is the best way to buy jeans, one, because it's so affordable. Two, you can get brands you wouldn't normally be able to afford at the real store. And three, they're already worn in for you. So like that's the best part of thrifting. You get pieces that are already worn in. They have that distressed look. They're just like already perfect. One tip for thrifting jeans is you never want to go into the women's section. I go straight to the men's and I look at the smallest sizes that they have in the men's. I'll find a wash that I'm looking for or a wash that I like. And then if it's a size like 28, 29, 27, I'll go and try it on. These again are just a classic blue wash. I love the pockets. I think these are so flattering on. And then at the ends, I, I think they were a little bit too long. So what I did was I just took scissors and I snipped straight across and got this distressed look. Once you put them in the washer, it kind of does this naturally, so that's all you have to do is just cut them. These are the Relax Tapered 550 Levi's, and they are in a size 6L. I don't really know what 6L means. I feel like that's kind of like an older size or like a men's size that I'm not familiar with, but I mean, I'm a US 6, so if that's the same thing, then that makes sense, I guess. Last pair of jeans. These aren't really like jeans, but I wanted to add them in because I feel like these are just such a fun take on your classic jean. I just got these. They're from Zara and I have them in a previous haul. So sorry if this is repetitive, but I've been wearing them in and I absolutely love them. They're just kind of like a beige khaki color almost and they came cuffed like this. You could probably uncuff them if you wanted to, but I actually bought them because I love how thick the cuff is I've never seen anything like this these I got in a European 36 US 4 so I think if you're shopping at Zara and you have a similar body type to me the US 4 is like my ideal perfect size I also love all the jean trends that are out right now like the slits and the asymmetrical crisscross on the front and all those different types of jeans are awesome too I just wanted to give you guys some good staples that are never gonna go out of style and just good basics to add into your collection I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any other questions about jeans or my sizing please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video bye